How you doing? Today I'm going to show you my completed generator setup. Uh, this is a Champion 4000 watt 3500 continuous gasoline generator. It has a uh, 120 volt outlet here as opposed to the usual 220 outlets, but it, it does put out 30 amps. Um, what I had to do was uh, I had to make up my own cord, a 20 foot cord. This is the 10, 10 4 in here. It's got two phases of ground and neutral. And what I did with this plug, I bonded both uh, phases together onto one one lug so it would be able to power up both sides of the panel which is fine the only thing you have to worry about is is if you have any uh, Edison circuits which are circuits on two different phases but they share the same neutral uh, you, you just got to be careful otherwise you'd be uh, uh, possibly driving too much current through the neutral but I don't have any of those Edison circuits so I don't have to worry worry about that okay so I'll show you my natural gas conversion kit. This is from U.S. Carburation. Uh, there's a ton of videos on YouTube on how to hook it up. Um, I already hooked mine up. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing is, uh, if you have a similar generator, what I would suggest is uh, that bracket back there, that with a spacer, um, which braces the air filter. So what I had to do was loosen this nut. Uh, where the engine mount is and the, the hole is actually slotted in this brace so you, you have a little uh, extra play in it but I had to um, make this slot bigger on the air filter side so it could fit properly so just to uh, point out if you have this generator and if you get in the same kit that's the only real dilemma I had and uh, also I had to cut part of the frame out which is no big deal they give you caps which fit nicely and uh, also, I had to get this uh, tachometer, hour meter, uh, from eBay, just so I know uh, how many hours this thing's been running. And it will help you uh, to adjust the uh, uh, load block here. Um, so you can look at the RPMs and adjust the load block, block and uh, it tells you uh, what the optim optimal uh, RPMs is, which is about 3,600. Okay, hey, and... Uh, this is a 20 foot hose I also got from US Carburation. It runs to my uh, natural gas line, which I ran recently from the basement. Uh, it has a quick disconnect fitting on there. Uh, eventually, this will be also for my barbecue. I'm probably gonna put a T at some point over here and you know, split one for the barbecue and one for the, just for the generator. And uh, there's my generator inlet uh, outlet. Uh, I figured this stuff is the perfect spot to be out of the elements, you know, under, under the, the uh, siding. And uh, that was about $50 from Lowe's, I think, that whole assembly. It's, it's just nice you buy the whole thing. Uh, rather than make up your own box, it just, it's just a lot easier just to buy that. Um, this cord actually cost me about 100 bucks. Uh, the cord itself was $50. Uh, this 240 volt uh, receptacle, I think, was thirty dollars, and the 110 plug on the generator side was about twenty dollars. So, altogether, this 20 foot extension cord cost me a uh, hundred dollars. But uh, it's you know, it's well worth it. It's uh, meant to be outdoors, and it's it's a lot more convenient than the, you know trying to. Uh, back tap into your panel uh, you know by by jury rigging I think this is a better way in my opinion all right so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll start the generator and then show you how it uh, powers up my house okay so basically first we have to purge the air out of the line first this is 20 foot uh, three-quarter hose so there's quite a bit of air in here fill some of the gas okay and uh, now we're gonna start her up you don't need the choke on. You use the natural gas.
All right, so now we're gonna go to the electrical panel and uh, switch over to generator power. Okay, this is uh, inside my basement. This is uh, how I ran my gas and electric line out there. Um, this is a three-quarter gas line coming off uh, this three-quarter line. Um, what I did was I put a, a valve here, a full port valve. Um, I didn't like the small uh, regular valves because I don't want to restrict the gas flow. And the reason why I put a gas valve here because uh, every time I do work here, I have to shut off the gas meter outside. And that also shuts off the pilot light in my hot water here. So to avoid that in the future, I put this intermediate valve and I put a T here um, with the plug here. So in case I wanted to expand out uh, to uh, put something else like a fireplace or another stove, I'm ready to go. I have to do is just shut this down and uh, I can work on that. Uh, what I did was I didn't continue here. This is for my gas dryer, its own shutoff. And I put another valve here right before the uh, gas pipe uh, leaves the uh, house. And uh, that's going outside uh, to where, where my deck was. And here's the, uh, the electrical uh, line it's going back to the panel. Uh, that is a 10-3 uh, with a ground. Let me just shut this light so you can see it better. Uh, and that's going back to my panel, and I'm going to show you uh, what I so, did there. Uh, this is my uh, Murray 200 amp electrical panel, and uh, instead of putting a transfer switch, I purchased this interlock from eBay. It was about $62. It works great. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, it, it's, it prevents you from having your main and the generator input on at the same time. Uh, because I, if you do that, uh, you're going to have serious problems. You could either... Uh, you know, short uh, short out somebody who's working on the, the line, like a lineman, or uh, you can have a big arc if uh, you 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 have your generator and your line voltage on at the same time. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how it, it works. I'm going to shove the main to the house now. I'm going to push up the interlock, and now I'm going to turn the generator. And there we go. Now. As you can see, I can't turn on the main because the interlock is here. And now the generator breaker is on. And uh, now, as you can see, uh, the house is on generator power. So we're going to go back outside and uh, take a look. Uh, we've got a lot of lights on in the house now. The front the refrigerator, the TV, and... Uh, the thing is still humming along fine, so it's running pretty good. So uh, before we shut it off, we're going to shut up uh, the um, load going to the generator. So we're going to uh, go back to commercial power now. So we're going to shut off the generator, and this interlock is going to slide down. And now we're going to turn the main back on. So now we're back on main power, and as you can see, I can't turn the generator breaker on with this interlock. All right, so now that, go, that we got the load off the generator, now we can uh, safely shut it down. Okay, so to shut it down on natural gas, you just simply turn off the uh, gas valve. And uh, that's it. So uh, I'll be ready uh, in case a major storm comes. I don't have to worry about buying gasoline anymore. Uh, but the nice thing about this is uh, it can still run on gasoline and it can even run on uh, propane so uh, You know it, it, it's it's definitely a nice investment to uh, get the uh, gas conversion Okay, okay, well, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching